Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath, it's Sunday, and that means we're going fishing. Today, on the agenda, I'd really like to head down south to the Deerfield Pier, catch some live bait, head out and do some trolling. Show you all what, uh, what's out there. I'd like to start in a little shallow, maybe go after some kingfish, some tuna, and then I wanna go offshore and hopefully get some dolphin. Do us a favor, before we get into this episode, hit the subscribe button, give this video a like, and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Give us any suggestions, any comments, any input you might have. All right, everybody, you know what time it is. Let's do this. Okay, we're on a huge spot of little bait fish. I don't know if they're sardines or pilchards. We'll find out here in a minute. Pass them on. Catch. Oops. All I gotta do is really let it down. I'm not even gonna cast out. And I got a big old stringer right here. They look like they're cigar minnows. Looking good. Take them. When you're trolling a strip bait, what I'm doing uh, here, I got a valley hoop. I have Benita strips. All right. When you use a sea witch. You gotta make sure that you put it on your rig right. You don't put it on so that it trolls nice and pretty in the water like that. You want it to go backwards so that your hooks are like this. Facing backwards. All right, now, to hook up a Bonita strip without getting all fancy and using a wire, what I do is the same way. I'm gonna measure it out. I'm gonna put my front hook towards the very tip edge. And then I'm gonna Then I'm gonna put my second in. Sorry, I have some live bait jumping all around my boat. All right. And then you hook the front hook in like that. And now your strip is gonna swim nice and straight. All right, since I got some live bait in, we're gonna to toss it out and see what we can get. We're only in 60 feet of water, but. About 235 feet of water. I'm gonna drop the vertical jig, see if anybody wants to come out and play real quick. And then I'm gonna head offshore. All right, we're on the bottom. Oh yeah, there we go. Gotta love them strikes on that vertical jig to hit super hard.
Not my leader. My shot cord at least. Oh, look at that. It's gonna be a bonita, but I had kingfish following them up, which is good. So I know they're down there. I'm gonna drop it again. There we go. Bonita on the vertical jig. Let it all the way down to the bottom since I saw a kingfish trailing them up. I'm gonna see if I can hit somebody like in the middle of the water column. That was a fat kingfish. All right. Something up on a vertical jig. Gonna be another Benita. Yeah, thick. All right. Benita on the vertical jig. The inshore trolling with the strip baits really didn't work. Uh, we hit up the vertical jig for a little bit, caught some bonitas, caught one ocean going blue runner. That was kind of fun. Uh, marked me a new spot where I can go. Um, we're in about uh, 600 feet of water and I'm embedded in sort of scattered weed lines. So I'm gonna try trolling around here. I'd like to be a little bit further offshore, but I'll give this a shot since the weed patches are kind of big and uh, see what's going on. So. I ran across a couple of giant weed patches out in the scattered ones and uh, there's lots of bait life going on here. You can see all the uh, jacks swimming around. These are bar jacks. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm chumming them up real good. Here's my chum bag. I'm going to see if I can get some dolphins swimming around and uh, fish them that way instead of trolling them up. All right, we're going to toss out this pro jig. See if maybe a dolphin swimming around out there right yet. Oh, I think I got a bar jack. Yep, they are vicious today. Look at this. Even the little guys. Oop, there he goes. Perfect release. All right, we'll try that again. Oh, there we go. It's gonna be another bar jack, little guy. Oop, there we go. They're popping right off, which is good. So update, we uh, ran off about 12 miles offshore. I am trolling the weed line, 11.6 uh, miles to be exact. Uh, gonna see what I can pick up, give it a little bit more shot, and then uh, if nothing's saying hello, I'm gonna probably hike it on back on into the reef and uh, see if I can catch uh, you know some yellowtail, get some dinner going on. Alrighty, here, fishy, 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 fishy. Trolling was a bust today. I had a dolphin swimming around the boat when I was kind of fishing the weed patches, uh, chumming it up, but it was not taking anything that I could pitch at him. He was only eating the stuff that I would throw over and chasing around the little bar jacks. Um, bummer, what are you gonna do? Right now, I'm here, I'm up on the reef. I'm gonna pitch out a live bait, try and see if the kingfish will take him and uh, catch us some dinner, some yellowtail, some grouper, whatever's biting. Got a lot of ballyhoo swimming out on the reef. We're in uh, about 60 feet of water. I got a live bait out, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna drift this out, see if anybody's home. 
find out we got a good current going. I got a chum bag in. The ballyhoo are already swimming around. This is a. Uh, I went here last week and I caught kingfish here. So we'll see. I don't think the kingfish will still be around. They swim around a lot, but uh, you never know. Maybe this is a tricky spot where they hang out. Just got hooked up on my live bait. Oh man, a yellowtail came and ate him. Look at that. You never see that. That's a yellowtail on a wire leader. Perfect. We'll take him. Dinner. Red grouper. He's a shorty, but we'll have to let him go. But that's a good catch. Another red grouper. They're coming up real short here. Yep, he didn't hit me all the way down. I kind of thought it was a yellow tail. Yellow tail. The yellow tail are thick. Yeah, they come up large here. Another giant flag yellowtail.
big old yelling. All right, folks. I have uh, just about caught my limit of yellowtail. I'm at eight right now. Uh, I think I'm gonna catch a couple more and then I'm gonna call it a day. All right, I guess we're putting on a clinic on uh, yellowtailing right now. They're sick. Epic yellowtail fishing. Utterly epic. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. Sorry about the trolling, but uh, you know, that's the game of fishing and not catching. Um, regardless, we did put on an exhibition of how to limit out on yellowtail. Uh, check it out. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and we really hope to see you Thursday for our tips and tricks special. And until next time, South Florida saltwater fishing. We're out.